guys, Coach Az here, working with Anne, and today we're going to show you some double kick drills, okay? In particular, we're going to be looking at the lead leg. These are mostly for freestyle kickboxing, so points fighting, light continuous, full contact, and K1 kickboxing. Now, a lot of styles will use these, including Taekwondo and Karate, and you can certainly adapt these for MMA and even Muay Thai. So take them, practice them, see what works for you, and let's put it to work. So let's get started. We're gonna start with the lead leg double roundhouse kick. So for this one, we're gonna give two targets, one to the body and one to the head. And really what all of these drills are about is the chamber control. So that ability to control your leg once we've lifted that knee to that position. We're pointing the toe away, we're hitting with the top part of the foot. Double roundhouse kick. Now, lead leg kicks can be powerful, but really what we're trying to do is we're trying to treat that lead leg the same way we would treat our jab, our front arm jab. So, when we're working it, what I really want to see from Anne is good speed, good extension, and good control and balance, and most importantly is the recovery after the technique. And recover, all right? One more time, lead leg, double round. And one more. Perfect, all right. Next drill we're gonna be working is incorporating a hook kick. So we're gonna go hook kick, roundhouse kick. We're gonna to try to take both of these kicks to the head. If you're giving focus mid targets, you can cross them over, or you can give one and then give the other. We're gonna go with the crossed over targets today, so if you imagine it as two sides of the same head. From here, lead leg hook kick, keep that chamber, and shoot that roundhouse kick afterwards. Now, more often than not, on this combination, the first kick is more of a setup to land the second. The idea is not to slap both sides of the face, it's more to get them distracted, draw their attention to one side to then come round on the opening and hit the other. Working, hook kick, roundhouse kick. And again, great, and let's do it once more. Now, a simple adjustment we can make to that one is to flip it on its head. I really like the idea of inverting drills. It instantly gives you something new to work and it helps keep it so that your opponent is always guessing. So now, nice and simple, roundhouse into hook kick. That's great. This one, for me personally, is a little bit more difficult to execute. That hook kick naturally rolls round into that roundhouse. My hook kick naturally comes back into that roundhouse kick position. However, with this one, that roundhouse kick, this is where that re-chambering is so important. It needs to re-chamber to execute that hook kick effectively. Roundhouse kick, hook kick. And again. And let's see that one more time. That's great. Now, we spoke a little bit now about different techniques. So we're going to one side and the other with two different kicks. We spoke about using the same technique to two different levels. That was that double roundhouse kick we started with. So let's put those two ideas together. The idea of attacking with two different techniques to two different levels. We're going to go lead leg with a drop down hook kick. So if you're unfamiliar with this technique, if you think of a hook kick as going sideways, and if you think of an axe kick as coming straight down on the target, this is somewhere across that diagonal line. So if you were a samurai with a katana, we're cutting across that diagonal line. So drop down, hook kick. Somewhere in between the two. Now we're not going to drop it all the way down to the floor. We're going to kick with it, we're going to re-chamber, and we're going to shoot a side kick into the body. So from here, drop down, hook, re-chamber, boom, and hit them with that side kick to the body. Once again, that first kick mostly is operating as a distraction. It's trying to draw the attention up, raise the hands, and create that opening for that powerful lead leg side kick to land. From here, drop down hook, re-chamber, execute that side kick to the body. And again. And one more time on that one. That's great, amazing. So, obviously, Anne's got great uh, dexterity and she's very flexible. So if you are not quite there yet, obviously watch some of our stretching videos 
uh, build up your mobility, and really just start at the levels you can. Even if that means, take for example that first drill of the double round abs, that you just execute both of them much lower. So we go to the leg with the first one, we we'll go to the body with the second one. That way you can get the grips with the principles of the technique, and as you develop the dexterity and strength in your legs, you can start increasing the height. With the hook round, you can take those both to the body, and we can build it up from there. So guys, I hope those drills were helpful to you. Take them away, practice them, and we'll see you on the next one.